Welcome to Eat, Pray, Plan. I'm Rebecca. I'm a wife, a homeschool mom to two adventurous boys, and I plan our lives one sticker at a time. In this video, I'm going to share with you tips that have helped me plan a happy life in hopes that they can help you too. So if you want to see how I do that, come plan with me. Welcome back to Eat, Pray, Plan. I'm so happy that you're joining me for this video. I just shared a video showing you how I created a very functional and, um, and quick goals page for my on the go planner. And I wanted to show you because this is what we're going to be using as a jumping off point to create my goals page for my uh, happy planner. So this is the planner that stays at home with me and this is the planner that goes with me and it's in my purse. And I wanted to create a super quick page where I just jot down my goals and I talk a little bit about um, where I found the inspiration for this goal, goals page on the previous video. I will link it in this description so you can check it out if this is the first video. But it's kind of like a two-part video because I didn't want it to uh, run for too long. So that's why I did it into two parts. So just a quick review. Um, I created a goals page and uh, I'm gonna do a little bit more decorative and like scrapbooky one for my classic happy planner, but I divided the sections into relationship, personal, and career. And I have chosen for relationships to focus on the first quarter because it is a quarterly um, goals page on my relationship with God. So here I have divided also like the, the different areas within that big category. So for January, I want January through March, I want to focus on my relationship with God. Personal, I want to uh, read two books a month one personal development and, a, and one a novel. And then for career, I want to upload two videos at least a week. So that will be uploading Saturday and Sunday, which is something that I can commit to right now. I can't commit to more, so I wanted to just, you know, get the ball rolling with something consistent. So I created this page. And now I am going to make one for my, um, for my home planner. And this one is gonna be a little bit more elaborate than the one that I did before for my on-the-go planner. I wanted to keep it very functional. And I will just highlight, once the pen dries, I will highlight um, the big goal so it can just stand out. But for my happy planner, which is the one that is my catch-all planner, so everything starts from here and then it goes to the different planners that I have and um, I have created this vision board. So I wanted to focus also on goals that would help me achieve my my uh, my vision board for 2020. So like I said, I will create this board and I will place it actually in one of these pocket sleeves. So this is a pocket sleeve that is just like one big eight by 10. No, it's not eight by 10. It's less because eight by 10 is the big planner. I don't know what size this is, but it is happy planner. It is classic happy planner size. So I'm going to create a big bullet journal page. That is the idea that I want with the three goals that I have for the first quarter. And then on the back, it's going to be kind of a, a collage of pictures uh, showing how I accomplished those goals. So this page, I am going to place it in my weekly view. So then that way I can have it always front and center. So let's go ahead and let's start creating this goals page. So I already know what color scheme I'm going to use and I am going to use still the same color scheme of the planner since I wanted to kind of be cohesive and match the planner. So it's gonna be greens, pinks, and black. And then I found this beautiful page in the new flowers sticker book by the Happy Planner. And these flowers are so beautiful. 
I can't get enough. Like this is my favorite page. And I went ahead and I used these flowers first on the spread for the first week in January because I had to use them. I will no longer hoard my favorite stickers. So I used that one first. And this is my second, oh my gosh, look at that. This is my second favorite. So I know right off the bat that I wanna use these flowers. And I love that they're gigantic because it'll just stand out. So I'm gonna be using also regular white paper and I'm gonna cut out the borders and then I am gonna use, cause I do want it to be lined, cause I wanna do the same thing. I wanna highlight the areas that I'm gonna be focusing on, the big goal, and then break it down, break it down into action steps. And I'm gonna be using this, um, these grocery lists, but they're not gonna be used like that. I'm just gonna use them, I'm gonna cut this out. I might even leave this cause they're super cute but I'm just gonna use this little like section right here with the little bullets for the action steps. And I'm walking you through, you know, how I'm gonna create this so then I can speed it up and you can see the process, but then it won't take forever and ever to, to you know, to make the video. And then I'm gonna use, I have a few uh, scrapbooking pages that also go with the theme, so I have them here. And then of course, my favorite, I think I need to order another happy box. This is my favorite right now and it's the Teresa Collins uh, Be Happy Box uh, sticker book. And then I'm gonna use some Mambi sticks to write down the 2020 goals. So let's get started. Let's see, so I know first that I want three boxes and I am going to use those boxes to highlight the, the sections, the areas that I'm gonna be focusing on. So of course I'm gonna use colorful boxes, but first we're gonna figure out how I want to design this page. So let's get started. Okay, so the way that I'm gonna do it, I think I'm gonna start with the little boxes and then decorate the, the page. Because then, um, I think that's gonna be easier. So I have here this, and I am going to cut this out and see if I can use these little boxes here. I'm gonna leave a little, a little margin So I'm gonna use these boxes as my, um, like as my guide. Because if I add these three, that's gonna be, there you go. See, I'm gonna add them like this. So I'm gonna have here the, the category and then the action steps there. Now I'm going to cut these and place them here for my action steps. So I wanna see if this box is the right size. I was gonna use the dots, but I decided to not use the dots. I will just um, create, I do, I'll just make them with the pen because I don't think I need too many. I, only, I have three action steps for each category. Okay, it doesn't fit quite yet, so I need to cut here a little bit more. 
and I've had I really love your feedback and I appreciate so much that you watch my videos and I've had a few um, a few people reach out to me and comment that sometimes it's hard for you to hear what I'm saying and if you have been uh, watching my videos for a while now uh, that wasn't a problem before because I used to do voiceovers but now I started doing just regular talking while I'm planning because I feel it's more natural and um, it just cuts back a little bit also on the editing time so I wanted to spend more time creating videos and less time editing but I do want to apologize because sometimes I might lower the volume of my voice because I like to talk to myself <laughs> when I plan I don't know if it happens to you but when I'm crafting or decorating or doing something I tend to talk to myself so that I have to remind myself that I'm actually filming a video and I need to speak up so you can hear me. So I am I am looking into getting a little microphone that I can clip to my shirt because in that way you'll hear me mumbling and talking to myself. So I apologize if there's been a few videos that you have been really struggling to hear what I'm saying. So that is the reason why, because I'm a mumbler and I like to talk to myself when I plan. Does anyone else do that? Please tell me that I'm not alone. Okay, so now I am just drawing the next box. And that's it. We have our three boxes, which are gonna be lined for the inside. Okay, perfect. So now that we have this ready to go, oh, this is a pretty color. <laughs> now that we have this ready to go, I'm going to take them using my combo permanent adhesive and then I'm gonna start decorating the page. Okay, so before I start taping down the actual little cards right here, I'm going to kind of just go ahead and design the page in case I wanna move stuff around. So I am going to leave them there and I wanna add a little bit of this kind of to make it scrapbooky. So this is uh, also a piece of the Happy Planners um, memory keeping scrapbooking pad. I haven't seen it. I bought mine oof, when I first started happy planning like two years ago and I haven't seen them anymore. Uh, I haven't checked Amazon. I found mine at Michael's and I haven't checked Amazon because usually Amazon is the one that will have things when they go out of um, out of stock in the store. So if you happen to see the block pad of paper, let me know because I've been hunting down this paper because it's so pretty. So there, I'm just kind of like designing the page to see how I like it. And then I will tape things down once I I have figured out how I wanna use it. I love adding these layers. I just feel that it gives it a little bit something interesting. So I've done a few also layouts like this and I really like them. So I thought that I would try to do my goals page like that. Okay, so I'm gonna do it like that. I'm gonna leave this here for it to say goals. I'm gonna cut this obviously and I'm gonna add flowers. So let's see. Ooh, we just have to go for it. <laughs> we just have to go for it and hope that it turns out nicely. Okay, here we go. Let's see. I'm gonna start with this one here first.
Okay, so now I'm gonna add a flower and I'm gonna add this one right here. And I'm gonna add it kind of like this, like that. Okay, let me see. Let's see, let's see. I want the flower to show a little bit more. So I'm going to cut, I'm gonna cut here. Just, actually, I'm gonna tear. <laughs> okay, oh, there we go. Oh, perfect, okay, there. So I wanted the, I wanted the pink to stand out a little bit more and it wasn't because it was on top of the brown. Okay, so we got the first one and now I'm gonna start doing them all like this and then see if I need to add, if I need to add any more, ah, okay, any more of the brown on top. Okay, so we got the first one. Now I'm gonna do the next one, I'm gonna do it here. And I'm gonna cut it here. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> so when I when I do things like this that I've never done before, because some like for me creating a spread is kind of like safe because I do them every week. And you know, I'm used to the way that I'm used to the way that I design them. But when I'm trying something new, it's like, oh my goodness, anything can happen. So we are doing this together. I want to see if I can find something black to put here. Um, and I think that I've actually used all of my black tags, so let's see. Oh, this is pretty. Do your thing. So, okay, so I, I divided the, so it is relationship, personal, and then, um, career so I think I'm gonna put this one here I think it looks cute I just wanted to add a little bit something and I like the layering I'm gonna do it right there okay I love how it looks when you layer stickers so I'm gonna do that there um, I'm gonna, I need to find something for here, but we'll look for that in a little bit. Okay, let's keep going. So now we are doing the third and final little box. And we have here, this right here. Okay, I love how it looks here. This one says dream big, dream often. I think it's perfect for a vision board. Should we put it, I wanna, I wanna put it maybe here. I'm gonna put it here and then cut it. I, I like I want to use the live, passion, live life with passion um, so okay so I'm trying to figure out so this is gonna be for my relationship with God this is gonna be personal and this is gonna be um, YouTube so do it with passion or don't do it at all I think that is that is very very fitting. So I'm gonna do it right there, and then I'm gonna add another flower here.
Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna dream big, dream often. Um, I think I'm gonna add. Be you, do you, for you. I think I'm gonna add this one right here. I'm trying to. <laughs> So this is where I start talking to myself because I'm trying to figure out where to place them. If I want to even place this one right here. Okay, so now I am going to add here my little label that says goals so I am going to use this font let's see how that looks and now I'm going to use here from this book, the numbers, to write 2020. Okay, so now let's see. Let's assess the situation. I think we're done. I think all I'm gonna do is add the box here to kind of highlight the area that I'm gonna be focusing on. So this would be so this would be my relationship with God. And then this would be so now I'm thinking, hold on, because now I have a lot of black. I want to add a different color for the labels so let's see I doubt that I have any more of the pink boxes from here I'm probably use them all let's see if I get lucky there's gold but I don't want to use gold okay so this is what we're gonna do I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna just cut. I'm gonna make my own little labels here. So now I have my, so now I have here relationship. And then I have here, this would be personal. And then the last one would be career. Okay. Let's see, I think we're coming to an end. I think we're coming to the final. I think we're good, we're good. I'm just gonna try one more thing because I wanna see if I can add how it'll look if I add a little bit more of the brown. I love this. I love these little, <laughs> I love how the, it looks with the brown. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more here. There. You know, you can never layer too much, can you? <laughs> I don't know, but I like it. Let's see, hold on. I'm gonna have to make it work now because it's stuck. Let's see, let's see. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. What should I do? I just wanna, I think I'm gonna use it. I don't know, I, I really don't know. Just to kind of like highlight the little label. Or maybe should I stop? Hold on, let's see.
No, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm not gonna go overboard. I think that once I start writing, it's going to come together. Oh, you know what I can do? I know what I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do. So I have these little, these little uh, rolls. And what I do is I use these little page markers. Look, and look how cute we have here. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Forget these little labels. We're not using these. We are gonna use this to bring in the green. Oh my goodness, there you go. So relationship. Right there. I'm gonna use it right there. Because I need room to write relationship. And then, perfect. Yes, that's what we needed. That's what we needed. Although... <laughs> Yeah, no, we're not using these little yellow ones, these little pink ones. Oh no, okay. Relationship, then this would be for um, career. Okay guys, this is it. We're done. This is what we needed, but I need, I won't be able to fit relationship there. That's the only issue that I'm having that I will figure something out because I won't have you sit through me writing down my goals. I will show you the end result. And then we need another little green page flag. There we go. Okay. We're done. We are done, yay. Okay. There you go, it came together at the end. So I made my goals page and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna start writing down my goals and I will show you the end result. So I'm gonna write down my goals and my action steps. If you wanna see, uh, if you wanna hear me talk through how I decided on that and my thought process, you can watch my previous video. And I, I share a little bit more there because I did the initial page on that video. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fill in this, um, this goals page and come back and share with you the end result. Okay, so I have filled out my 2020 goals page for my happy planner and I just took the the one that I had made for my on the go and I added those things in and now I am going to place it in the little pocket sleeve and see how it looks. So I did add a little leaf here because um, it was like there was like space here so I think I'm gonna just I'm just gonna leave it like that it's not a big deal <laughs> so now I'm gonna just add my little pocket sleeve my page inside and we will be done let's see it doesn't want to go in there we go okay Perfect. So now it will live with my vision board right here in my planner. So this is my vision board and these are my goals. So I'm going to put it right here for right now. But I think that what I'm going to do is I will move it to maybe my monthly or to the week. I don't know yet, but I love how it looks with the color scheme. So this is it. This is this is my quarterly goals page for uh, January through um, through January, February, March through March. And I will do one of these every three months. And that way I can just focus on one goal that will help me achieve uh, what I have written down in my vision board. And this is it. This is the plan with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications. 
And um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Have a great day.